Blessings everybody. Hi Lady Shari. Hi is how is everybody doing? Hello, hello, hello. Blessings Prophet is Renee. Hi everybody. I was planning on doing a scope earlier, but I was at work. So blessings to you woman. Again, I saw your scopes today. You did amazing. So um I came quickly to do a, a scope. Um where I wanted to share this woman of God's song. She is a writer. She um, did the publishing and the editing for my first book. And she did a really great job. And she's a writer. And she recently wrote two songs. And she got somebody else to sing them for her. And she did a scope. Her name is Tiffany Buckner. And she did a scope called My First Video. Where she pretty much went through... Um, Yes, so she went through this, um, she went through this video, and it was, it was a long video, but it was a very good video because it was multifaceted, and she went through it, and she kind of gave you the breakdown from a director's, or in a writer's perspective. It was, um, it was a really good video, the name of the song, as the title of this scope says, is In His Presence. Um, so... I would ask that everybody who, if you've never heard the song, please look it up. It's on YouTube and everywhere else. Um, you can find music and all that kind of stuff, I do believe. Um, but go to YouTube and type in In His Presence by Tiffany Buckner, same as my title. Um, it's a really, really powerful song. It is just kind of coming from the aspect of before a person is... Blessings to you, Ty Bunch. Hi. So, it's kind of coming from the aspect of, um, yes, that's correct. Tiffany Buckner, and the name of the song is In Your Presence. It is the title of this, and, um, she said she'd like more people to see the video, more views and everything like that, so she asked, so she asked to share it. She did not ask me to do this. I'm doing this just because... I'm a worshiper and I like to sing and I love her and I know her heart and I know she's a, you know, she's a very anointed woman of God. She is serious about God. She loves God. I know she has my heart. I have hers, all that kind of stuff. So I, I respect her as a woman of God. She is single. She teaches single women how to wait on God. And in the video, what is amazing about the video is she takes you to different perspectives. There is one young lady, it's like I think a total of four women. And I don't want to give it away for everybody. Like, you know, I don't know if y'all are, if somebody tells you what happens, you want to watch it. I'm one of those people that if you tell me what happens and it's super exciting, I'm going to want to go watch it even more. But in the video, um,. In the video, it's like it starts off and it gives you this young lady, beautiful young lady. Her mom is talking to her in a very condescending tone. And she's like really just kind of killing her with her words, saying that she thinks she's better than the family because she has her degree. And she thinks she's so smart and she's stupid and she's this and she's that and she's just like her daddy. So... They then go to her to her would be fiance. He wants to propose. He's spoken with his pastor. He thinks that she's the one he's ready. But the pastor was telling him, you know, um, she is a good woman, however, she's not ready yet because she still got to go through some deliverance and then you have another young lady she's married and her husband is abusive and um People are looking at them from the outside, looking in, thinking everything is good because they're married. Then there's another young lady who is looking at the married woman, not knowing she was being abused. And then she kind of misdiscerned what it was. She just saw the husband as a, a good looking man. Well, he wasn't. Okay, I'm just saying like this. She saw the husband as a man. She was single and she was ready to be married. So she looked at the outwardly appearance rather than going inside to figure, you know, she she totally missed that he was an abuser because I love that. What Tiffany did in the video is she showed you all these different perspectives and all these different things and then she rewinded it and 
it was kind of like Jesus. She said it was like Jesus rewinding our time. It's like what Jesus has done in a lot of our lives. So then there was another woman and she's drunk and her friends seem to be friends at one point in the video. And then they leave, you know, they said they're going to leave her by herself. They're not her babysitters, this, that or whatever. Then it's it's just, I could not like, I, I. I can't do it no justice, y'all. I'm trying my best, and I feel like I just got to go back and watch it again just because of how amazingly well she did it. And and there is a, a scene where it kind of comes to everybody's turning point. And the woman that I told you guys with the mom, her, she she contemplates suicide. She takes a bottle of pills and she passes away in a tub. And then her would-be fiancé comes and, he, you know, he comes to check on her. And then he finds her dead in the tub. And then this is the point at which God rewinds it. So it's like everything goes backwards. And it's like he walks out of the house and everything happens in reverse. And then all of a sudden, um... And then all of a sudden, it shows you what happened had they not made the decisions that they made. And like when they, um, whenever they go to God. So like Jesus, there's a point in the video where the girl who has, who was supposed to be, who the guy wanted to marry. And she runs to Jesus because she was a runner. Every time something happens, she runs away. And her mom, when her mom was killing her with her words, she was like, that's right. You run like you always run. So when she ran away from her mother, she ran to Jesus. And Jesus had this ring in a box, like a wedding ring, because he was asking her for a commitment and for her heart. And she saw him, she walked up to him and turned around and ran again. So, it's like at the end of the video, every person that I described has on a wedding dress and they are walking up to Jesus and they're finally ready to make a commitment. And she said, the wedding dress was how Jesus sees us. He sees us as a bride. He sees us and he's ready to receive us and in our commitments and our hearts. So, I just... I, I just, that just blessed my whole heart because she said before a woman can be ready to be a wife and be married and be a good wife, she has to first be married to Jesus. And as a single woman, it blessed my whole life because I get it. And, and I've done it the wrong way first. So now I understand the importance of waiting on God. You got to wait on God. So I, I encourage you guys, if you have not seen it, if you have not heard it i hope you go to youtube just because of the way i explained it it's called in your presence by tiffany buckner she wrote the song she directed the video she found the cast oh my god they did an amazing job kudos to to my sister in the lord tiffany buckner congratulations great job i am proud of you i remember when you said you wanted to do skits and to see it come into fruition it was just it you did great i love it she is in i think she's in georgia i want to say she's in georgia uh maybe around the atlanta area not exactly sure but i know she lives in georgia so that is the brief overview. I hope that you guys will go and watch it. And when you do, whenever you watch it, please let me know what you think. You can either go, you can either email me at turbulencetalks at gmail.com and leave your, your comments and your thoughts there. Or if you're on Facebook, um, if you're... On Facebook, you can look me up. My name is Drea Monet, D R I A M O N A E Ficklin, and inbox me what your thoughts are because I would absolutely love to hear what you guys think because I think it's awesome. I think it's amazing. So, without further ado, now that you have heard about her video, let me sing a little bit of her song. I'm not going to sing the whole entire song. This is a little bit of a cliffhanger and a teaser, so this is going to make you go back and hear the song and, and watch the video. I hope it blesses your whole life. I hope it sets your heart ablaze like it did mine. Um, again, her name is Tiffany Buckner, and it's on YouTube, and it's called, and it's called In Your Presence. Okay, so here we go. Lord, how could you love a wretched soul like me after all the bad I've done? 
How could you love a rejected soul like me? After all the times I've run I've run away from your love But your love has never let me go Many times I wanted, I wanted to leave this life But mercy said no Now that I've embraced your love I will never turn away Lord, I love you more and more With each passing day Now that I've embraced your love I will never let you go Everywhere you turn, Lord You will always know That I love you with every breath I breathe I love you with every ounce of me I love you and never leave your side I love you and forever I will hide In your presence I will forever be In your presence I'm with you and you're with me in your presence. I'll never turn away in your presence. Forever I will stay in your presence. Lord, how could you love a wretched soul like me after all the bad I've done? How could you love a rejected soul like me after all the times I've run, all the times I've run, I've run away from your love, but your love has never let me go, many times I wanted to leave this life, but mercy said no, now that I've embraced your love, I will never turn away lord i love you more and more with each passing day now that i've embraced your love i will never let you go everywhere you turn lord you will always know that i love you with every breath i breathe i love you with every ounce of me i love you i'll never leave your side i love you and forever i will hide in your presence i will forever be in your presence i'm with you and you're with me in your presence i'll never turn away in your presence forever i will stay jehovah jireh you are my healer so yeah that's just a little bit that ain't the whole song that's not the whole song that's not the whole song y'all the song is amazing the video is amazing the woman of god is amazing if you don't know her get to know her look her up her name is tiffany buckner and the name of the song is in your presence it is just wow is all i can say wow i remember this encourages my heart as a believer and as a child of god and and just for the and just gives me expectation because i remember when she said you know someday i'm she was like i'm gonna get a camera and i'm gonna i'm gonna play around and do some skits and like we never thought it would be this it would be this thing i said that to say whatever you have in mind God is going to exceed and excel everything. God will blow your mind. God will blow your mind. You got to receive that. You can blow my mind. God, blow my mind. He's going to blow your mind. Hey, blow my mind, God. Blow my mind, blow my mind, 
with what you do this time blow my mind blow my mind god blow my mind with what you do this time i'm yours i'm yours lord i'm yours you can blow my mind um so yes i'm glad you guys love her song i love her song her song is amazing go to youtube and share it share the video share the link share your thoughts share just share it because it is amazing and she said her read her um i think she said her i think she said her goal was 20 what, or two million or 20 million something like that i can't remember exactly what she said she wanted her goal she wanted her goal to be but i say this was my humble attempt at sharing i hope i did it justice i hope i have stirred something up in you for you to go and see it and i will likewise share a little bit of the song that i that i wrote today this morning i wrote this song i started writing this song called meet me in the air and um this is just what it says let your glory descend as we ascend we will meet you in the air and if we've gone astray lord we'll seek your face we gotta meet you in the air let your glory descend as we ascend we will meet you in the air and if we've gone astray lord we'll see your face we gotta meet you in the air let your glory descend as we ascend we will meet you in the air and if Stray, Lord, we'll seek your face. We gather me, you in the air. The time has come to come up higher, Lord. We gather feel your fire. We need power, Lord. We need power, Lord. We've got to meet you in the air. I want to meet you in the air. The time has come to go up higher we need your power we gotta meet you in the air oh lord we gotta meet you in the air so let your glory descend as we ascend we gotta meet you in the air and if we go astray lord we'll seek your face we gotta meet you in the air oh lord i want to meet you in the air we want to meet you in the air i want to meet you in the air 
guys, that was, um, that was my song called Meet You in the, in the Air. So, I woke up this morning and I was singing that song. And, and, and I mean, I just, because I watched the ASAP, I watched the ASAP conference. And for those of you who are watching this, who are worshipers, you have got to go to God be the glory. If you are a worshiper or you are any little bit of prophetic, you have got to go and watch John Eckhart's ASAP worship conference. You can find the replays on Periscope. Oh my God, it blessed my whole my whole heart. Like I can't even begin to try to 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 describe what happened. I can't describe, like, it was one of those things that had to be experienced. Like, once you see it, you were like, okay, I, I see. I see what she was talking about. There were so many prophetic songs, and people were prophesying to people in, in word, and then there were people who were prophesying to people in song, and, oh, my God, it was just... It was like Thanksgiving for a worshiper. Like, it was just... And there is this one video. It is three hours long. I know three hours sounds really, really, really long. Like, oh my God, they were on the scope. Of Listen, it is the best three hours I have invested in my entire life as a worshiper. That is... I can't... I cannot even... Words don't... Words cannot properly articulate what happened in the room. And there was this song this young lady was singing. Her name was Naomi. What is her name? Her name is Naomi Rain. And she was singing this song last night. I saw it on, I saw the replay. And she was singing this song and it said, um... I see God sitting on the, on the throne. I think it's I see the Lord sitting on the throne and he's high and lifted up. And it says something about his glory. And oh, it blessed my heart. Jesus, just thinking about it makes me want to cry. Because it was so, pro it was prophetic worship. And it was so necessary and needed, and it was just, I can't, like, I can't even, I can't even, yes, 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 so I say, if you're a worshiper, if you're at least, if you're at least bit prophetic, go see it, it just, it just did something to me as a worshiper, it just, it helped me, it blessed me, I, there were parts where I cried. And there was this this young lady they were prophesying to in song. They prophesied to her a word in song. But this girl started singing, don't be guilty about being happy. And Lord help me. It, oh God, it, I just, I, I was about to, I was at work about to cry. Because the way she prophesied it in song, and I, oh Lord, I'm telling you, y'all gotta go back and watch it. It was like, I can't even, and even Sophia Ruffin, they prophesied to her in song. And 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 um, I think it was Catherine Summers Kelly, she was like, you're the apple of my eyes. She was prophesying, from, it's giving her what God was saying to her. And she said, you're the apple of my eyes, Sophia. And the whole room started singing it. You're the apple of my eye, Sophia. Everybody, the whole entire room started to sing. And and um there was another part with Apostle John Eckhart. They were singing. They were singing for they did the same thing for him. It was right on the tables of John's heart with the finger of God. I think oh, how did they sing it? It was like Oh, what did they? I can't remember how they sang it, but it was it. They were singing right on the tables of John's heart with the finger of God. When I tell you, it blessed my. If you're a worshiper, 
If you are a worshiper, like a for real, for real worshiper, like even what you say is who you are, go back and watch it. Just type in, go to the search out ASAP and it's going to give you all these. It's going to give you all these replays. The one that I'm talking about, I think it's uh, Prophet Kevin Leo. It is amazing. It blessed my whole entire life. I'm actually going to go back. Oh, Jesus. Watch the whole thing. And I dare you not to cry. I dare you not to cry. I dare you not to cry. It blessed. Oh, my God. It blessed my heart. And then there was another song. It was another song this young lady sing. The guy, Prophet Leo, put his hands on, on Naomi Rain's head and he said, I command you to write a song before I finish preaching. And he talked about that. And he asked her to come up and and like he just said, Come come sing your song. And he was like, It don't have to be perfect. And there was a part that he said, Every living thing must be fed. And her that was her song. She pulled it out of what he said. And she said, every living thing must be fed. So feed us, God. Feed us, God. Feed us, God. And the whole room, everything they said, the room sang. It was one accord. It was beautiful. I, I just... God, I thank, you know what? I thank God for Periscope because without Periscope, moments like this wouldn't happen. Prophetic worship, I mean, it was nothing but prophetic worship. Nothing but prophetic worship. I mean, oh my gosh. I can't even remember the whole song for the, I th what is, oh, let me see what that song said. Hold on one second. I think it was, I see the Lord on his throne, and he's high and lifted up. Oh, my gosh. Mm, bless me, Lord. I just, I think, I just, that song was ringing in my spirit today. And it's high and lifted up. Oh, my God. Y'all got to go back and watch it. It blessed my heart. Whew, Jesus. Yes, that, that, that assembly. And and they even began to when when Naomi was prophesying to Apostle John Eckhart, she began to say yes. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead on. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm actually about to go, but I just wanted to tell you guys. Um, I wanted to share that song in that video. Woman of God, Naomi, you came in late. So if you would, go back and watch the replay because I shared about this amazing woman that got my sister in the Lord. Her name is um, Tiffany Buckner. She is she's amazing she's a writer she wrote this song called in his presence i um, i'm sorry in your presence so um it's a song i share i actually sang the song just so you guys know what it sounds like and i described the video it's an amazing video but go back and watch it and if you're worshiper go back and watch the a step replays and be blessed of the lord um that's it i love y'all happy saturday blessings to all thank you for, for who ever thank you to my replay viewers hi replay viewers how y'all doing blessings to everybody happy saturday i'm glad you came to hang out with me catch you on the next one peace this is shalandria ficklin i am a worshiper i am here to uplift to empower and to encourage you guys one conversation and one song at a time peace see you on the next one